Hi everyone! This is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. So I am very late getting this video made today. It is seven o'clock at night and I still am just filming now. Um, I've been working from home since March of last year, like a lot of people, but today I had to go into the office to work. I was getting a new computer and I had some training and a meeting and yeah, so I had to go into the office. So I couldn't film the video on my lunch break like I normally do. So I'm filming it now. Um, last week, last Friday, in the Pink Punch Studio group, there were some fantastic new releases. They were all recolors of previous kits. So I got a few of them. I got the primary green mobile kit, the jewel tone pom pom pens, and the jewel tone roses. Um, green is my favorite color, so naturally I was a sucker for the green. I'm using the Jewel Tone Planner for my February Kiss. <laughs> what am I trying to say here? I'm using the Jewel Tone Kiss Planner for February, the monthly one. And Friday's color is this beautiful red. And so I'm going to use this background with the green mobile kit for the bulk of my spread. I'm going to see if I can do the whole spread just with my new kits and my checklist. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to do something a little bit different because I've been so busy I have not made these into GoodNotes files yet. So I'm going to work right from iCloud. I have got the split screen already set up. I've done that by just dragging up this bottom menu and dragging my files to this side, my good notes to that side. So this is the downloaded files. They're in a zip folder. If you tap them, they unzip just like that. And then your stickers are all inside. So I'm gonna start with the this primary green kit. And I'm gonna start with this the little stack of note papers here. So I think this will be my main part. Um, and what I'm doing, this is how you can make your spreads right out of the cloud instead of out of GoodNotes sticker books. A lot of people like to do this to keep their GoodNotes from getting too um, filled up, taking up too much memory on their iPad if memory is an issue. I personally love my sticker books and I'm still committed to them, but I just wanted to show you how you can build your spread super easy, um, just right straight from iCloud without spending that extra time making your sticker books and, and all of that. So I'm just stacking the black iPad under the stack of papers just to add a little bit of interest to the page. What else should I do here? I just love this color. <laughs> it's so fantastic. We'll pull the little post-it notes out. So you can see it's really easy to work from the cloud. There's no lag, it's just drag and drop. Um, I find when I work out of something like Dropbox, there is a bit of a lag, so I pref if I'm going to do it this way, I like to do it in the cloud. The other thing that's nice to notice is each of these stickers are labeled laptop pointed flags. So if you're familiar with the Pink Punch Studio stickers and you know that you want a blank note paper, you could search your, your cloud for blank note paper and it would bring up all of those stickers for you, um, which makes the search really good within the Pink Punch Studio stickers. Uh, so, or you, if you are like me and you just like to work kind of one or two kits at a time, then you can just do this whole split screen. I'm going to go into Procreate real quick here, and I'm going to grab my little daily checklist that I've got pre-made, if I can find it. I'm blind. Here it is. So you can see here I've got the backgrounds turned off. When I make the checklist, and I did a video a few weeks ago where I showed you how I make my checklist, um, 
it's a whole bunch of layers. So sometimes what I'll do is I turn off the background layers. Uh, this one's the shadow. This one's the white outline. This one's the black outline. I don't know what this one is. We'll just turn it off anyway. <laughs> um, and then I have just the checklist part with no background. And I can take that. Oh, what's I, what do I have for weather? If, uh, oh, it's got snow. I need to change my weather. So in my checklist, I have some weather layers here. I'm going to turn off the snow layer and put, turn on the rain layer. And then I'll do a drag, share, PNG, and I'm just going to copy it so it sits on my clipboard. So I'll go back to Good Notes, and I'm just going to paste the checklist like this onto this green post-it note here. There we go. Having these checklists and keeping the layers all separate makes it really versatile and easy to add to any spread. There we go. So I've got my checklist. And now I need my three other standard things. Since we're trying to stick to this, or I'm trying to stick to this kit, I think I could just use a font. Let's do my random scroll here and see what we get. All right, what looks good? This one's kind of cool, it's called Good Mood. It's like a long, a narrow caps. So I need my wins. Ooh, that's tiny. And let's put go back to good mood. Gratitude. To do. And the date. Tomorrow is Friday the 19th. Okay, this font doesn't have numbers, which sucks. That's okay. So I'm going to turn off images and I'm going to circle all of these and do a bit of resizing here. Yeah, I'm just centering my words on the page. Okay. So there's some flags, pointed flag, transparent flag. That might be kind of fun. I think I'm going to use that one. Hmm. Nope. The transparent isn't white enough. I need a bit more contrast than that. All right. I need a different font. for the 19. My images are still turned off. We'll make this nice and big. Okay. What else should we do? 
You can see the drag and drop works really, really well right from iCloud. Turn my images back on. Red and green are such a classic combo. And I know it's typically fairly Christmas, um, but I'm, I'm not getting a super Christmas vibe from this. I was a little worried I'd hate it, but it's not too bad. I think we'll mix it up in a minute when we add some more decorations on. I'm gonna put the little travel mug over here in this corner. There we go. I love the travel mug. I don't drink coffee, but I use the travel mug sticker just because I love it so much. I also love, oop, oh, I hate it when I do that. So I dragged the files and it opened up a new files window because I dragged the sticker too close to the edge and I thought that's what I wanted to do. So don't get, see how it changes there? Don't let it do that. If it starts to do it, just pull it away and don't get too close to the edge. You know, I haven't done it before, but this little tag is pretty much perfect to write on. Let's put home is where the heart is. Turn my images off and then I'm just gonna resize that text. And just kind of center it on the tag. I'm going to use the justification in the paragraph here and do centered. That's kind of fun. Okay. Now I'm going to decorate it with something of other colors. Let's pick a rose to use. I want to kind of bring it away from the whole Christmassy look. Blue, teal. What about a teal one? Oh, I did it again. I don't usually do this <laughs> except for when I'm working in split screen. Don't get close to the edge. It doesn't like it. Nope, too green. Oh, orange. Oh, I like the orange. I'm going to turn it this way so those little white flowers are sticking out because I love them. Yep, I like the orange. There we go. And let's use some pom-poms here. Should we stick with the orange theme? How about hollow? Oh yeah. That looks good. the wrong one. So I'm going to use the pin paper clip that just has one loop so it looks like this other loop is behind the pages. There we go. So you can see how easy it is to work from the cloud. So if you are struggling with memory or lagging in your good notes, this is a totally usable, doable option. You can set up your cloud folders the same way you set them up in GoodNotes, you can have a folder for Pink Punch Studios, and then inside that you can have folders for covers and desk and decor, just, just like if you wanted to set it up like how I have my GoodNotes set up, set up, you can do that exact same thing inside the iCloud using the folders. It's super easy. Um, I don't have mine set up like that. I have a big folder of Pink Punch and it's a big disorganized mess. Um, I just pulled the stuff I got last week out separate so that I could use it for this spread um, into its own folder. But it is really easy to work from the cloud. Now that I'm done with those kits, I'm just going to go in to my Pink Punch folder 
and I'm going to grab some paperweights to make some to-do dots. I think we'll stick with that whole orange theme. So I just need to find a blank space here. And I get them nice and small. And I'm going to copy and I'm just going to paste it on the side and line it up against the edge so that I can make sure they're all in a straight line the same distance apart. And then I can grab them all and put them down on my page. Add a few more gems just for decor. To kind of tie in that rainbow hollow we've got going on. And take away from some of that Christmas red and green. So there you go. We put together a super cute, quick functional spread for my daily tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow I will actually feel in control of myself, my day, my week, as opposed to the rest of this week. So thanks for your patience in having me post this so late. Um, I still haven't totally decided what I'm going to do on Sunday. So it's going to be a surprise um, since I haven't decided. But I will see you then. Check the description. I will link the kits that I used in the description. And all that other good housekeeping, like, subscribe, yada yada, you know the drill. Alright guys, I hope you had a great day. Bye!